coders welcome to dev byte schools uh, day 4 mastering in spring boot so in this session uh, we uh, discuss on database selection so database selection is one of the important factor when you design any project okay uh, for example uh, if you select a wrong database means your whatever data is collect from your project is asset compliance and you select a no sql database so huge issue will be occur in this scenario so um, i collect some um, key factors which you consider uh, selecting sql and no sql database for example uh, for a sql database uh, uh, if you're storing like transaction information okay like bank uh, storing a transaction or record okay so for this you go for sql or you whatever data you have is basically required asset properties okay okay for that you go for sql and your data required uh, some complex queries means one to many relationship over there then lots of entity connect with each, uh, each other so for that you go for sql database so uh, for no sql database for example you receive huge number of data like uh, data size very huge uh, like storing like uh, information like big data or in future you re require a horizontal scaling because number of requests is increasing okay or for example the complexity uh, of data is changed means the data or na nature of data is not fixed okay so for th that scenario also go for uh, NoSQL database as per our uh, project requirements okay so we don't need our data to be asset compliance okay okay uh, and second is like uh, uh, as per a cap theorem okay in our uh, blogging website okay availability is more important as compared to a consistency okay so number of requests uh, coming in our uh, blogging website is very huge okay so lots of insertion operation going on uh, in our uh, data and lots of retriever operations going on so we need to uh, uh, we need our data uh, as a horizontal scaling okay and uh, data uh, of our uh, nature of our data is not a fix okay for example now we just storing a blogging information and uh, comments information in the future we need to add a skills or skills column also in our uh, blogging section or in a comment section we need to add a like and dislike button also so in future our data will be changed with respect to as our project develop so for uh, this blogging website uh, we selecting uh, mongodb as a database so we can scale that horizontally in future yeah that's pretty much about today's session if you like our video please click on like button and share with your uh, friends and colleagues who have same stack stack and please subscribe so whenever we upload a new video particular this uh, series you get a notification thank you so much